Hey YouTube, Shukun so Shinobi here with an unboxing of the Pokemon Trading Card Game XY Breakthrough Booster Box, as well as the two associated theme decks. We got Night Striker and Burning Spark. Yeah. So, we will take a look at the theme decks after we break into this breakthrough booster pa booster booster box and you know, take a look at what's in the packs and stuff and it's a fun time so let's go ahead and get started with the openings all right so you can get your own booster box for anywhere between 80 and 100 dollars depending on where you pick it up places like troll and toad collector's cache uh top cut etc etc go ahead and buy yourself a booster box and see what you get but as always with these booster box unboxings i would love to thank the pokemon company international for hooking me up with this booster box as well as a couple other goodies that we will take a look at in the coming days so, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, just get right into this unboxing. I'm really super duper excited for this. Um, Breakthrough is a really cool set with lots of lots of fun possibilities. And I know this is actually pretty late, and I do apologize for that. Holidays put me quite a bit behind. So let's go ahead and kickstart with the right side of the box. Because that's the side that I want to do first. So, go ahead and move those over there, and let's get started. All right, for our first pack. And again, all of these code cards will be entered into Pokemon TCG Online before this video goes live. So, just warning you ahead of time. So, we have a Fennekin, a Starly, Swinub, an Inke, Panchem, Seeking, <laughs> Parallel City, a really awesome stadium card that has two effects, depending on which way you face it. Fracture, a Meowth, and right off the friggin' bat, we get a Mega Mewtwo X. So this is the Mega Mewtwo, I think, X. I think this is the X one. I got them mixed up. This is the X one, I believe. The one last part fighting type, as noted by the fighting energy cost. So really cool, Vanishing Strike 150. If there's any Stadium card in play, this attack does 50 more damage as attacks damage. Is it affected by resistance or any other effects on the active Pokemon? Chances of a Stadium in play is incredibly high in this format. Vanishing Strike is really, really good. The energy, however, is kind of what stops Vanishing Strike from being as good as it could be. Because Psychic Fighting Finding Colorless is not the easiest thing in the world to get out. However, it can benefit from Dimension Valley. So there is that at the very slightest. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a pain to, to fully get out. So, next pack, we have a Hoot Hoot, Proclaim the Night. It's like Batman Hoot Hoot. Uh, Pikachu, Remoraid, Axu, Panseer, a Pinsir, Starmie, like doing a beacon or something. Buddy Buddy Rescue. Uh, I haven't actually pulled a whole lot of these. Uh, each player puts a Pokemon from his or her discard pile into his or her hand. Pretty simple. The only downside is that your opponent benefits as well. Magneton and a Typhlosion. Right off the bat. No, uh, not right off the bat? I don't know what I'm saying. But a uh, Typhlosion. This is a really fun card. There's actually a pretty neat budget deck that is using uh, Typhlosion. Discard the top five uh, cards of your deck. This deck is 80 damage times the number of energy cards you discard. So basically, you have uh, Cyndaquils, Quilavas, Typhlosions, Rare Candies, a few draw cards, and like 30 fire energies. And uh, it, it, it's it's just, it's it can be a beast. As long as you don't deck yourself, you pretty much are set to win. So it, it, it's a pretty neat little deck uh, that I'm kind of interested in possibly uh, taking a look at. So... There is uh, that, so we're off to a pretty grand start, I believe. We got a Hollow and an EX. So, moving along to pack number three, we got a Pikachu, a Noibat, Cubone. This is a really sad Cubone, it gets me every time. Sandshrew, Flabebe, Haunter. Uh, the the uh, Gengar is actually a pretty cool card as well. Glalie, Spirit Link, a Cacturn, a Reverse Staryu. And a Bronzong is our rare with Paint Amplifier. Another actually kind of neat deck um, as, as well that I've seen with uh, a blue golf ball built uh, Paint Amplifier deck that was actually pretty fun to watch. So there is that. So now we have a EX, we have a Hollow, we have a rare. We need a full art to complete the 
the trifecta or quadfecta here. I don't know words. Flabebe, Axu, Scatterbug, Teddy Ursa, Remoraid, Bridget, Vanillish, Quilava, a reverse Bridget. Uh, Bridget's a pretty cool supporter card. Let's you search for either one EX or three basic Pokemon. Either or, so that's neat. And Simisage is our rare fire fling and hand fling. He's just flinging left and right. But he is a monkey. He loves flinging that poo poo. So, I have a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of weird in this video. I'm not going to lie. Feeling a little weird. But that's fine. Started up with a Piplop. A Doduo. Another Remoraid. We got a lot of Remoraids going on. Snubble. Magnemite. Sand Slash. Quilladin. I hate that art. That art kills me. Professor's Letter. Great trainer card. Let's you get to two basic energy cards. A Reverse Starly. And a Smeargle. Um, Smeargle's actually not that bad. Uh, second coat. Once during your uh, turn. You may switch a basic uh, energy card attached to one of your active Pokemon. Uh, with a different type of basic energy card from your discard pile. So if you're playing a lot of different types of uh, energy cards, then it's it's kind of worthwhile to have a Smeargle in your deck, just in case those energies get uh, flipped around or, or what have you. So that, it's something to keep in mind at the very least. So we got a Noibat, Ralts, Skiddo, Mischievous, Swablu, Swoobat, Quilladin, Seeking, a Reverse Fracture, and a Chestnut is our rare hollow. Um, I don't think it's as good as the Chestnut and XY that has the uh, Spiky Shield ability, but it's still pretty cool. The artwork is very neat at the very least. So as cool, we are at two hollows, three rares, one EX. We're actually looking pretty darn solid so far, if I do say so myself. So, moving uh, right along, we have a Teddy Ursa, Scatterbug, Ralts, Pansage, Hippopotas, Reserved Ticket, Flip a Coin of Head, search your deck for a card, shovel your deck, and put it on top of it. So not bad if you get heads, but them coin flips. Curlia. Prinplup, a Reverse Ralts, and a Dodrio. Retreat aid as long as this Pokemon is on your bench active. Retreat cost is two colorless less. Pretty decent card for uh, those decks that have high retreat costs. Uh, that could burn through switches or escape ropes or something like that. Um, I haven't really seen it played. Um, it's actually the same ability as a Dodrio from not too long ago that was played. I don't want to say played heavily, but... Um, it was played every now and then, but uh, this one, just not not so much. Uh, we got a Cubone, the Sad Cubone, uh, LGM, Pansage, Piplup, Magnemite. Look at those people. Those people are so happy to see a Magnemite. They're like, oh my god, it's glowing. It's amazing. Uh, BM, Town Map, uh, lets you flip up your prize cards and see what you got. So that is always helpful. A Go Goat. And, uh, <coughs> Marowak Break uh, is uh, our reverse spot, because uh, the, the breaks take the place of the reverse. So, pretty neat. Uh, Marowak Break, uh, Bone Revenge, 20 plus, the deck does 40 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. So, late in game, Marowak is a beast, and with things like uh, Fighting Stadium... And uh, the strong energies, uh, Marowak can be a beast right out of the gate as well. So, pretty nice uh, break card. And Aromatis is our rare. Nothing really special about this Aromatis. So, I'm actually going to flip those around and put Marowak Break up on top. Because Marowak Break is special. And we can keep tally of what we've got going on so far in this box. So... Moving along to the next pack. This is pack 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is pack 9. Spritzy. Remoraid. Axu. Woobat. Goldine. Skyla. A nice reprint from the black and white era that uh, is a sport. It lets you search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Very versatile. Very good. 
Um, I'm not sure why they just chose to reprint Skyla instead of putting someone from the XY era and giving it the same effect, like Professor Sycamore. But, hey, whatever. Uh, Starmie. Uh, Dedenne? I, I really like this art. I like it when the art incorporates other Pokemon. I think that's really neat. A reverse Scatterbug. And so, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of full arts, we got a Mega Mewtwo EX once again, and it's the same Mega Mewtwo X that we pulled at the very beginning of this box, except it is the full art version, and it looks nice. Love the full arts. They are great. They're amazing looking, and I, I really like... I like Mega Mewtwo X quite a bit, because it still retains the look of normal Mewtwo, except it makes them look more powerful. So, I dig Mega Mewtwo X quite a bit, and uh, the the effect of the full art is just really, really nice. So, same Vanishing Strike Attack, same everything, but this is all nice and full art. So, it took us nine packs, but we now have every type of card available uh, in this set. We have a normal EX, we have a full art, we have a break, we have hollows, we have rares, so we have the full line of various rarities to show off but we still got lots of packs to go so let's keep going with a chespin starly a goldine a syndical hippopotas frogadier judge a wonderful supporter that uh, has both players shuffle their hand into his or her deck and draw four cards. Very great for Disruption. Very good for Glalie EX. Uh, hopefully we get another Glalie EX or something to show off. But uh, yeah, a very, very good supporter card. That is a reprint from, I think, the HeartGold Soul Silver era is when that first came out. We got a Granville. Fisherman, another reprint. I think this one's from the E-Block era. Um, if I remember correctly. But it lets you put four basic energies from your uh, discard pile into your hand. Fantastic card for those energy mill type decks. And we have Noctowl as our rare. Not that exciting. The trainer cards are actually more exciting in that pack. <laughs> but continuing right along into pack number 11. We got Axu. Froakie, a little bit closer, I apologize. Mischievous, Hoot Hoot, Cyndaquil, Vanillish, Snorlax, Spoopa, Reverse Vanilla, and Simiseer is our rare. Right, this should be pack number 12. We got a Zorua, a Chespin, there's three different Chespins, there's Chespin number two. Can we get Chespin three? We'll find out. Rufflet, Woobat, Haunter, Cacturn, Wobbuffet, no we can't, a Reverse Heavy Boots, um, it, uh, Retreat Cross those Pokemon is attached to is three or more, it gets 20 plus 20 HP and can't be confused, so that's kind of neat-ish. Again, not played a whole lot. And Chadot is our rare. Good old Chatty Jet. That pack opened very strange. But okay. Whatever works, Booster Pack. Whatever you want to do. It's your life. We got a Roltz. Panseer. Meowth. Ghastly. LGM, Gramble, Pelosamine, Assault Vest, a really cool uh, tool that uh, if it takes damage from an opponent's Pokemon that has special energy attached, which a lot do these days, uh, the damage is reduced by 40. So that's really good. Reverse, Sad Cubone, and a Xerneas is our nice little hollow rainbow force. It's attacked to 30 more damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench, so you're looking at 80 damage, which isn't that bad, but not too great either. But hey, is that cool looking Xerneas? Alright, next up, as we're winding down this side of the box, we got a Ghastly, Spritzy, Cacnea, 
Snover, Froki, a Burning Energy. I was wondering when we are going to get one of these. A special Fire-type energy uh, introduced in this set that when you discard it because of the effect of an attack, it goes right back onto the Pokemon, which is really neat, especially for Mega Houndoom. Uh, Dedene, Prinplup, and Fire-types in general, because a lot of Fire-type attacks have you discarding Fire Energy. I don't know, it's just the way the type is. A Reverse Vanillish, and Noivern is our rare. All right, this is pack 15 of 18 on this side of the box. We got a Vanillite, a Zorua, Skiddo, Noibat, Swinub, Floet, Brazen, Super Rod, a really cool tool that, uh, not tool, an item. That lets you shuffle three basic energy cards or Pokemon into your deck. Reserve ticket, reverse, and ah, oh, the Mewtwo train just keeps on going with the secret rare um, Mewtwo EX. This is one of the two secrets. One's red and one is blue, and uh, they are really incredible. Basically, it takes the normal looking Mewtwo and combines it with um, other Pokemon that are featured in this. So we got Magnezone, which is a great uh, great card in this set. Chestnut is one of the breaks featured, and Cresselia is one of the legendaries featured. So it kind of brings in all facets of the set to, uh, to promote, as well as just having a really cool full art. So this is the Psychic Type uh, Mewtwo EX. They're all Psychic Type, I don't know why I said that. Scatter, uh, Shatter Shot and Damage Change are the attacks, but just an incredibly awesome looking card. Uh, the blue one is really neat as well, so maybe we'll get one of those later on in the bo box. But that is, it, it's a really nice looking card. I dig that a lot. So we got two full arts so far. We got one EX. We got three hollows, so we're kicking it pretty good, I think. We got a Bronzor. Staryu. Skiddo. Paris. Doduo. Rainbow Energy, another really awesome special energy that has been with us since the days of the original Team Rocket set, if I remember right. Um, provides colorless energy, but when in play, it provides one energy of any type. So this card right here can be any energy type you want. You just have to put one damage counter on your Pokemon when you attach it. So there is a downside, but uh, that downside is usually not that bad. Got a Pillow Swine, a Floet, a Reverse Judge... And Florgas. Inside joke. But uh, there we go. So we got Florgas, uh, Calming Aroma. Each of your Pokemon stack costs one fairy less. So that's kind of neat. So Wondershine is only two energy costs. So yay. Hip hip hooray. So two more packs on the side of the box. Let's see what else we can get before we break for intermission and take a look at the next side. So there is Chest Pin. So Duo, Fennekin, Zorua, Flebebe, Magneton, a Float Stone, a nice reprint from the Black White era that makes your Pokemon's retreat cost zero. Really nice tool. Get back down there. Houndoom Spirit Link, Airverse Noibat. And Braviary is our rare. I love Braviary. I think he's a really cool Pokemon that unfortunately just hasn't really had a good card. And it's not fantastic in the video game either. So that's a little bit unfortunate for good old Braviary. But I think he's a cool Pokemon. So we got a, if we focus, a Vanillite. Panpour. Rolts. Zorua. Meowth. Stunfisk, Spupa, Brazen, a Reverse Swoobat, and Vanillux is our rare. Not as awesome as the one that was out during the Black and White era. I played that deck, it was really fun. But um, I do like Vanillux, he's weird and crazy and I dig it. So in our first side of the box, we have one normal EX, we have two full arts, we have one break, three hollows. So not the greatest, but definitely not bad. We got some really cool cards on this side of the box. So let's see what the other side has in store for us. 
All right, so now to start the left side of the box, we will blaze through this just a smidge faster. We've seen a lot of the normal commons uh, in this set so far, so we will just kind of pick up the pace this bit. So we got a Remoraid, Hoot Hoot, Pikachu, Remoraid. There's two different Remoraids. I forgot about that. That's why we're getting so many different Remoraids. A Axu, a Brazen, Rainbow Energy, Pillow Swine, a Reverse Panchim, and Octillery. Yes, I need a lot of these. Um, Octillery is a really awesome hollow. Um, Abyssal Hand, once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. So it's similar to the effect of Shaman EX, but given the fact that it's an evolution, uh, it takes a little bit to get out and is not as effective. But um, it's still really great in certain decks, and uh, it's kind of a cheaper alternative to trying to hunt down Shaman. It's, again, it's not a s perfect substitute by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it's still a pretty decent card in my humble opinion. So, moving along, we got a Ralts, Panseer, Meowth, Ghastly, LGM, Professor's Letter, Staravia, Frogadier, just not to break. Really cool, 190 HP, grass type, tough hammer, 160. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. But there are, wa are ways to get rid of that damage or prevent the damage. So it is not too bad at all. And a Simiseer is our rare. We've seen Simiseer already. So Chestnut is going to go up on top. Being all loud, proud, and gold and bold. He's just in it to win it. And he can fig it. Because he's Chestnut. Ch -ch Chestnut, yeah. Ch Chestnut. And I don't know what's going on. Swablu. Flabebe. Axu. Scatterbug. Teddy Ursa. He's so happy going after that hat. Ursa Ring, right, back to back, that's weird. A Stunfisk, Sp Spupa, a Reverse Professor's Letter, and Gengar. Speaking of, uh, Gengar's Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. And given the fact that bats are still in the format, lay down a Crobat, you put three damage counters on any Pokemon of your choice, Gengar comes up, Creep Show, boom. Gone. Doesn't matter if it's a Mega or what, it is knocked out. So Gengar is very versatile. Unfortunately, being a Stage 2, it is kind of tough to get out. And it's not as speedy as those EXs and stuff. So it's not like top tier deck or anything like that. But um, Gengar's Creep Show can be a really fun deck to play for sure. So next up, we have a Vanalite, Zorua, Skiddo, Noibat, Swinub. Pillow Swine, again back to back. Hound Doom Spirit Link. Spupa, again. Haunter, to go with that Gengar. Uh, Haunter's actually got a pretty cool ability too. Gothic Fear. Both active Pokemon are confused when Haunter comes into play. So that's uh, that can be kind of neat. And Aromatisse is our rare. Nothing too special about her. Moving along to pack number five. We got quite the pile of garbage up over here. Got Magnemite, Noibat, oop, almost skipped Ralts, Skiddo, Mischievous, Dedene, Primplup, Haunter again, a Reverse Doduo, and Simipore. So we got all three monkeys now with Green Fling, Blue Fling, Red Fling, we all fling for ice cream, I don't know, I couldn't think of anything else that rhymes with fling fit into that song. So, we have a Chespin, Doduo, Fanakin, Zorua, Flabebe, Floet. Again, back to back, we're getting those evolutions. Assault Vest, Brazen, Reverse Star Raptor, and Marowak to go with our Marowak break wherever he went. Really cool. Uh, Marowak on its own is pretty good. Bone Windmill for 60. If Bone's active as a EX, you get to switch. Uh, switch it up into things like Robo Substitute and such like. Sharp Shooting does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, so you can snipe, all that fun stuff. So Marowak is a pretty versatile Pokemon as well. Moving along. 
We got uh, Hippopotas, Cubone, LGM, Pansage, Piplup, Pilloswine, Floet, Burning Energy, Airverse Goldeen, and Vanillux is our rare. Nothing too crazy do we in that pack pack. Next up, we have a Snubble, Cubone, Magnemite, Pikachu, Inke, good old Inke, Skyla, Primplup, Reserved Ticket, Glalie Spirit Link, and oh yes, again, I need these because I want to try this deck out, Mega Houndoom EX. Um, I need to hound do me X first, but <laughs> the Mega is really cool. Mega Houndoom is one of my favorite Pokemon. I think he just looks really awesome, and I'm biased towards Dobermans and such like. But Inferno Fang for 80 plus. You may discard all fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do this, that does 80 more damage. Couple that with burning energy, you're discarding nothing, or in some instances, discarding only one energy. So it's, uh, again, a very, very quick, effective attacker. And 210 HP, uh, weak to water. Just an all-around absolutely awesome-looking Pokemon. And uh, I am eager to try that deck out. There's a lot of really cool fire-type decks uh, floating around now. Between Mega Houndoom, uh, that Entei-Charizard uh, combo, and the... Um, I pulled it earlier, the Typhlosion. Uh, there's a lot of cool fire-type things floating around. Woobat, Chespin... Starly, Goldeen, Cyndaquil, Spoopa, Brazen, Rainbow Energy, Reverse Spritzy, and an Evil Tall to go with that Xerneas that we got earlier. Fright Knight, as long as Pokemon are active, each Pokemon's tool card in play has no effect. So pretty cool. It has to be active though, so that is the downside. Pitch Black Spear, 68th is active, 6 damage to one of your opponent's benched EXs. So that's actually not really that bad at all either. So uh, pretty neat uh, Evoltal. The artwork is pretty sick on that. I think one of the best things about the Pokemon trading card game in general is just the artwork of the cards. So even if you don't play the game, like collecting is just really fun to see the artwork on these cards. So here is a Swablu, uh, Snover, Rufflet, Scatterbug, Cacnea, a Super Rod, Glalie Spirit Link, Dedene, a Reverse Chatot, and a Normal Chatot. We got double the Chatot, double the fun, double the obnoxious repeating because Chatot is a parrot. But is Chatot a parrot though? I thought the Dex like argued that it wasn't. I don't remember. The Dex is a cool show. Y'all should watch it. Uh, Froakie, Zorua. Chespin, another Chespin, Rufflip, Magneton, Ursaring, Stunfix. He's just laying on that rock, not giving a flying out anything. Like, he he don't care. He's just there. He's like, I'm Stunfisk. My eyes are on top of my head. So is my mouth. I'm really weird, but I'm a real fish. Deal with it. Reverse Pansage. And a Raichu Thunderclap shot. Electro Smash. So, Raichu's kind of neat. I think the Circle Circuit one is ultimately still the better Raichu, but that Raichu is definitely not bad either. So, moving along, I, I think I did that right. Cards got stuck. But anywho, we got a Cyndaquil, a Staryu, Doduo, Gessly, Woobat, Heavy Boots, a normal one this time. Sand Slash, hanging out under that giant, kind of looks like a mushroom, but it's a tree, I believe. Uh, Ursaring, Star Raptor, Reverse Snorlax, yes, he's going to eat the Chessman Snorlax. I did mess that up. Star Raptors are rare. Hooray, we just bypassed Star Raptor like he was nothing. He's like, we don't care about you, Star Raptor. We got a Reverse Snorlax in this pack. Uh, we are dwindling down. We only have five more packs, not including this one. So, we are winding down. We got a Doe Duo, 
a Ghastly, a Spritzy, Cacnea, Snover, Behem, Quillava, Wobbuffet, Reverse Inke, and speaking of the Hound Dooms, we got in the Hound Dooms. Speaking of the Hound Dooms, my dog just barked. My, my dogs are Minpins, so again, I'm biased to the whole Doberman family, but anyway, Hound Doom EX, full art. Melting Horn. This is actually a really fun card. Melting Horn discards the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Couple that with Bundleby, which can also discard two cards because of its ancient trait. Houndoom and Bundleby make this really weird milling combo that is just really sick. Kind of mean. Kind of mean for sure. But uh, I really, really dig that. I might give that a shot too. Grand Flame for 50. Attack, attach a fire energy from your discard pile onto one of your bench. So you can use Grand Flame if you really have to to help power up a different Houndoom for either Melting Horn or if you play the Mega for Inferno Fang. So either or, Houndoom is a fun little card. Like I said, Breakthrough's got a lot of fun cards in it uh, to the point where it's just... Something I really want to play. There goes the dogs. They're going nuts. They're really happy that they got a Houndoom EX. So, Piplup, Jespin, Bronzor, Froki, Penpour, Snorlax, the normal ones eating the Jespin. Blah, 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 blah. Stunfisk, Normal Fisherman, Reverse Floet, and an Obama Snow is our rare. Woohoo, Obama Snow. Obama Snow! Blah, 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 blah. Yep. But yeah, my dogs were just really excited to have me pull a Hound Doom EX. They're like, you pulled our kin. Our big, our big kin, because we're little and stuff. I don't know. There's a break in this. Spoiler alert. Uh, Meowth. Bronzor. Skiddo. Staryu. Pettis. Rogadier, Star Arabia, Pinsir, Zorak Break. Yes, I actually haven't pulled this one from any of the packs I've opened. Uh, so, <laughs> excuse me. I'm really excited for this one. Zorak Break was always touted as the best of the breaks, and while I don't think any of them are actually as bad as people make them out to be, Zorak is actually really good. Good? Good. Foul play for one dark. You can uh, choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use that attack. So if your opponent has a really strong EX in play, you can bring out Zorark, copy that attack, and knock it out for one darkness energy. Very versatile, really good. And with the normal Zorark, having that uh, Russian sort of ability, stand-in I think is what Zorark's is called, um, it makes it a pretty wicked combo if you play the break. And our normal, uh, where's the rest of the cards for this? Over here. So we got the Zora. Cresselia is our normal rare, my way, Moonlight Gain. Not all that thrilling, but we got the Zora Break. And like I said, Zora Break was actually the one break that I haven't gotten yet in any of my pulls. So I'm really excited to finally get that one to complete my collection. <laughs> I, I've gotten a lot of Raichus and a lot of Marowaks, but I haven't gotten a lot of the Zora. So I'm really excited about that. But um, the show must go on, so here we have a Fennekin, a Magnemite, a Rolts, Chessman, Noibat, a Floatstone, Fracture, a Heavy Ball. We actually haven't gotten a Heavy Ball yet in any of these packs. I don't know why the Heavy Boots and the Heavy Ball are so hard to get. But search your deck for a Pokemon with a retreat cost of 3 or more, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So great for those decks with the high HP Pokemons. Uh, Dedenne, Reverse, and a Magnezone, another awesome card we will take a look at when we get into the theme decks. But Magnetic Circuit is basically uh, like uh, Blastoise's um, ability, the old Blastoise. You can attach as many lightning as you want from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So you're not limited to that one energy per turn thing, which uh, makes... I just punched the camera with the Magnezone. I do apologize for that. But it makes a lightning type decks uh, pretty versatile. So um, Raikou and uh, Magnezone. Magnezone, rather. Magnezone. I am Magnezone. But uh, that is a pretty versatile combo uh, to get going, as well as the Pikachu EX promo is being played a lot in uh, that deck. So there you go with that. So we have a Panseer, a Vanillite, Panpour, 
Ralts, Zorua, Mewtwo Spirit Lake. I love the fact that it has both of the Mewtwo's on there. That's really cool. Go Go, Swoobat, a Reverse Ghastly, and Halucha is our rare. Not a very good Halucha, but it is a Halucha nonetheless. And so we are now at our last booster pack for the box. Can we end on a note of highness or will it just be a normal run of the mill rare we have a paris a swine up a sand sand shrew meowth a pension a curlia giovanni's scheme a really cool supporter again we didn't get any in this box yet uh, you get to choose one of the two effects you can draw cards they have five cards in your hand which isn't bad if you need it but um, during your next turn, your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage. So that is another effect that you have to take into account. Magneton. A Reverse Xerneas. And we end our unboxing on a Parasect. Of all things, I didn't even know there was a Parasect in this set. It's got colorful spores and x scissor, And it's like hanging out in a lab or something with, with lava lamps. I don't really know what's going on. But anyway, we got a Parasect. And there we go. So this side of the box gave us two breaks, one EX, and one full art. So not too bad. Again, not that great, but not too bad either. Now, I can't help but feel that this set is a little bit out of the norm from what we're used to with these unboxings. Uh, in total, we have seven hollows. Which are all really good hollows, actually. I'm not even going to complain about that. Magnezone's great. Gengar's great. Artillery's great. Typhlosion's great. Uh, so a lot of great hollows um, in this. But that's up a little bit from the normal five that we've gotten as of recently uh, in these boxes. Now, we do have the intro of breaks in this set. But those take the place of the reverse hollows. And we got three of those total, which I was expecting a lot more because I was pulling breaks left and right out of promo boxes. So they felt a little bit easier to me to get them three in a box. But I haven't really been paying attention to the uh, case ratios um, in this set uh, compared to how I pay attention in other sets. So I'm not sure if this is the norm or not, but we did get three breaks. We did get the Zorark break, which is great. Marowak is awesome too, and Chestnut's pretty neat. But uh, there we go. So we did get uh, three breaks. Normally X's, we only got two. Uh, which is definitely out of the norm. Um, I'm, I, my past couple boxes, I've been getting a lot of normal EXs. And this one, we only got two, one in each side. So I don't know if they just really messed with the ratios a bit now that breaks are a thing or, or what they did. But um, we're back down to EXs being incredibly hard to get out of packs, apparently. But we did get three full arts. So again, that's really strange. Um, I think three full arts is kind of the normal. Um, but normally we get a lot more EXs, so I'm not really sure what the ratios have to do with breaks now being a factor as well. So I'm not entirely sure if breaks are starting to trickle into EXs ratios or what. But um, in total we did get 5 EXs between the 3 full arts and the 2 normal. So that's certainly not bad. We Mega Mewtwo did up. We got some Houndoom line action going on there. So I'm certainly not complaining. I love that Houndoom line and I'm really excited to... Uh, attempt to play uh, either of the two variants of Houndoom, make it the milling one or the Mega Houndoom. So, either or. Uh, we got some pretty cool cards, uh, for sure. And that doesn't even factor in all the really awesome trainer cards and stuff that we pulled as well. So, really awesome. Again, I'm not sure if this is the norm for the case ratios. Uh, this certainly is different than what we're used to. But again, breaks are now a thing. And I'm not sure how those factor into the equ uh, equation. So you have to keep that in mind, but look at all the shiny we got. It's all nice and neat. And um, the, the, the Houndoom, the, the Houndoom EX uh, full art definitely kind of wins it for me, as does the Mega Houndoom. I'm just really excited to have gotten those. So let's go ahead and take a look at the two associated theme decks with this set. Okay, so as mentioned at the beginning of this video, we have the Night Striker and Burning Spark theme decks. Psychic and Dark over here. Obviously Dragon as well because it's got a Noivern in it. And Lightning and Fire over here on the Burning Spark, hence the name. Obviously we have Noivern and Raichu as the focuses of this deck. Here is the back. Here is the contents of the Night Striker deck if you want to take a look at that. And here's the contents of the Burning Spark deck. So let's go ahead and uh, get both of these open. Alright, so the Night Striker deck comes with this awesome, slightly blue-tinted uh, coin of Mega Mewtwo X, 
while the Burning Spark deck comes with this slightly pinkish uh, tinted coin of Mega Mewtwo Y. So if you're a Mega Mewtwo fan and want some coin action going on in your collection, I would check out these theme decks. So those are pretty nice. I do like the coins uh, always with these theme decks. Um, each one gets a little booklet about what's new in the set. They always um, do these little booklets. What's new in the Breakthrough Expansion? And it shows off Break Evolution, how you play the Break Evolutions by placing it over the picture of the normal evolution, special rules for Mega Evolution Pokemon, and all that stuff, as well as a checklist of all the cards that are found in the Breakthrough Expansion. So nothing too crazy there, nothing we need to keep or anything like that. You do get uh, poison, burn, and damage counters in each uh, theme deck. And uh, as always, for new players, this is the rulebook slash playmat. So there's a rulebook on the back, and the playmat tells you all of the conditions and the turn order and everything. If you are a new player, um, I would definitely start with a theme deck. Start with the tutorial in the online game and uh, pick up a theme deck and uh, go from there. So speaking of the theme decks, both obviously do contain a code card, so you can play these theme decks right on Pokemon TCG Online. And of course, you can take the cards in the theme decks and start building your own decks as well. So there you have that. So you got those two code cards, and obviously these are parts of the deck themselves. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Night Striker deck first. If we take that um, out. So we got a bunch of Fighting Energies, uh, some Ralts. Here is the Gengar that we pulled in our booster packs, the one with Creep Show. However, it is a non hollow version of the Gengar, so this is an exclusive variant card, as is the foil version of the Noivern that is in the front of the theme deck. So, for you variant collectors, um, there is five total variants between these two decks. So if we keep moving right along, we got Ursa Ring, Zoras, Wobbuffets, Reserve Tickets, uh, Pokemon Fan Club, a older supporter that lets you get uh, basic Pokemon. Giovanni's Scheme is in here, Tierno is a very standard one, as is Pokemon Center Lady. Curly is Haunters, Professor's Letters, There's some Fisherman, uh, that's a pretty decent one. Teddy Ursa's, Cresselia, Ralts, Ursa Ring. Wally is a pretty good supporter, lets you search for an evolution and play it. That's, uh, that's neat and it's, it's a way to kind of skip. Um, evolutions, not not skip evolutions, but it, there there's workarounds there. It's it's uh it's complicated. Zorark is the one that I wanted to pinpoint. We did not pull any of these in the booster box, which I was hoping we would, but we didn't. Um, this is normally a hollow hollow card. Uh, it is a normal rare in the theme deck, but it's got the stand in ability, and that's what I was talking about before when we were talking about the break. You can if it's on your bench, you just switch it with your active. Uh, without having to worry about retreat costs or anything. So a very great card, and it's fantastic that this is in the theme decks. Um, I will probably actually might pick up one more of these theme decks uh, just to get another one of those uh, Zorarks for any decks that uh, that I may need. So there you have uh, the Night Striker theme deck with those three variant cards. And in the Burning Spark theme deck, you obviously have the variant Raichu. It's all sparkly and shiny and stuff. But we got some Lightning Energies, Professor's Letter, Fennekins, Wally again, Tierno, Super Rod, Switch, Skyla, Magnezone. Obviously, we pulled a Magnezone. It was hollow. This one is just normal, rare. So we got a normal, rare version of the Magnezone. Again, a fantastic card for Lightning Build decks. Um, almost a must own in uh, in decks like those. So again, it's fantastic that it's in the theme decks. It makes their price or price cheaper, uh, keeps the, the the individual price down. Plus, you can just pick up a theme deck and automatically get one. So that one is is really neat as well. No no other variants uh, found in uh, the stack. It's pretty standard. Given the fact that Cyndaquil and Quillaf are in here, I would have loved for there to be a. Typhlosion in here, but alas, there is not. There is a Smeargle, though, so if you need a Smeargle, that is one way to get a hold of those easily as well. So, there you have it. There are the two theme decks for the XY Breakthrough Expansion. Nothing too crazy, but again, if you are a variant collector of any kind, there are five cards here that are variants from their norm. So you're going to have to get these to add to your collection. So all in all, it wasn't bad. These theme decks are not that great to play, 
But uh, they do actually have some pretty decent cards this time around. Zorark's great. The Magnazone's really good. Gengar's pretty decent, too. So uh, the theme decks are actually, for once, pretty, uh, pretty worth taking a look at if you need those cards. Um, for the booster box, again, I'm not sure if that ratio that we pulled is the norm or if we just got a really weird box, but overall, I'm satisfied. I'm really looking forward to trying out the Houndoom stuff, so I'm really happy that we got some of those. The Mewtwo's are great. We got some pretty awesome Hollows as well, and a lot of trainers that I needed for future decks, too. So, I am not complaining. It's weird. It's definitely weird after the past couple unboxings. I've been so filled with EXs to get one that really only had five. But um, we'll see. I'll try to look into whether that's the norm or not and report back. But uh, that about does it for this unboxing. Again, a huge, huge thanks to the Pokemon Company International for hooking me up with these for unboxing. I always appreciate it. It's always super fun to do, and uh, it means the world to me that uh, you allow me to do this kind of thing. Always really, really fun. So that about does it for this unboxing. If you like it, go ahead and blast that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.